everyone. First of all, I want to talk about massages. And, um, I was thinking about I was thinking about fitness gyms because my name, my business name, or that I thought of, is Fitness Massager. But it could be any business name, honestly. And um, I was thinking that these big gyms, and by big I mean, you know, they have a lot of shit in there. And there's a lot of fucking people going there to work out. What if there's a fucking gym right next door? So these people work out. They shower right there at the gym where they fucking signed up at. And then they go and get their massage next door. That would be... Um, my ideal way of generating new customers by placing um, massage um, massage massaging stores right next to existing um, workout places. So, anywhere where there's a massage place, and this is good for you hungry motherfuckers out there that have all the fucking money and saturate your fucking and solicit your fucking ass off on the web and anywhere you can get your fucking greedy hands on. Right? Because I know you motherfuckers are monitoring us. Everyone out there that's booking fucking appointments through Facebook and shit. So, are you motherfuckers out there, see, I have a fucking appointment thing here, right? I make an appointment, someone fucking hits me up, whatever the fuck, then who has that data? Facebook does. And... So does Google and all these other fucking internet sharks out there. So, yeah, that's why I was listening to these YouTube videos. And they're saying it's, it's best just to do fucking word of mouth advertising and passing out your business cards. You know, because... Because... You know, who knows if... The internet is redirecting your customers or clients to a different website, and they probably are. Um, so, this is more for uh, an idea for um, you know people out there that that already have you know that have a lot of money that might have a good business name or that's that's well developed. Like, let me see. I guess if I just type in massage, well, there's there's a bunch of them here. 
But um, there's a lot of business names out there. A lot of um, competition, I guess. A lot of hating ass bitches that just want to hire people and make a profit, probably. And that's the motherfuckers I'm talking about. Motherfuckers that have money already and that just want to just sit back, not do shit, chill in the office, you know, with their thumb up their ass. And they expect everyone else to work for them. And do all the fucking marketing and shit. And then they get a check. So you motherfuckers that are like that. What you guys can do. Is start these massage businesses. Next to the gyms. It's like a whole new niche motherfuckers. And that's what the fuck I would do. So if anyone wants to invest in my shit. In my business idea. Hit me up. We could, we could probably work together or some shit, you know? Fitness massager. And anyone could be a fitness massager. It could be fitness massager. And then I could have um, your fucking name right here with your last name with your own phone number. You know? That type of shit. Kind of like a um, Verizon sales rep. Uh, business card. You guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. Well, I don't see one. But, I thought these motherfuckers had one. It, it was it was kind of like um solar sun I think it was I don't know it's just like a sales rep type of thing and you basically you're generating your own fucking clientele that type of thing. You know, because I'm a little, I'm a little fucking goldfish in the fucking, in the fucking ocean. I'm not a shark. I don't have fucking money like you fucks out there. So, there's an idea for you motherfuckers. So you guys can steal everyone's fucking competition, everyone's fucking... Ideas and clients. That's what the fuck you guys want anyway, right? So there you have it. The fuck you waiting for? Get it started. Get shit done. And then, not just that, but you have so much money... You could get affiliated with the gym. Oh, let me put my flyers here. So whenever so someone signs up with your business, your, your fucking gym, they could get a deal over here at my massage. Fucking bullshit business. So I can make a little bit of extra money. I mean, I can fucking see it like the mall. Mall massage. Like this shit. I can see that shit happening. All day long. Like this. Huh? Because that's gonna, that's gonna be like me right here trying to give someone a massage in public, so people could talk shit on me, because I don't have enough money to fucking afford a fucking building, and look all professional and shit like this.
I mean, I hope none of you are getting in your feelings, especially if you have a lot of money. I, I don't think you really have a lot to say. Or you shouldn't, you shouldn't have a lot to say about the matter. I mean, a lot of these people are working their asses off. Making their fucking, their house into a motherfucking fucking business. Because they can't afford a fucking, a fucking office and shit. And then all these hating ass hoes. Want to target and hate on other people that are trying to hustle. It's probably the same owners that own all these other fucking businesses that are setting people up. Oh yeah, he touched my ass. He did that. He did this. Whatever the fuck. I don't know. You know, motherfuckers want to get people out of business and shit. But this is this is this this uh, this will also be a great way to provide jobs for all the students that are coming out with massage degrees. Graduates, graduate, graduates, graduates. See, there's a bunch of them ready to work for you, rich fucks. Right here, look at. Just provide a fucking booth, like a fucking, like a hair salon. Right. Yeah, I'll rent this little fucking space out for you. Just give me five hundred dollars a month. We'll be good. A thousand. Fuck it. We're good. How many do you have? Fucking twenty of them. Making twenty thousand dollars with your fucking thumb up your ass all day. So you just talk shit on me for not doing shit all day. I mean, don't get mad at me for fucking trying. I'm just one fucking massager out of the fucking millions and billions of trillions of people there is in this fucking piece of shit world that we fucking live in. So yeah, that's it. Fitness fucking gyms are everywhere. Everywhere. So, anyway, I just thought this would be a good idea if I had the money like you motherfuckers out there that have a lot of money. That's what the fuck I would do. You know, if I had a lot of money and... I went to go get some type of, some form of um, counsel from these rich motherfuckers that counsel people on how to spend their money. That's what the fuck I'll tell the rich person. Start your own massage fucking shop right near, right next to a fucking existing high Top, well known, popular gym or gyms with, you know, and then you guys can look into how many fucking people are going in there. You know, how many people they signed up. Maybe they have a thousand. Well, you factor, what if you could get 10% of those people? That's a hundred people. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I don't know how the fuck you guys do it. Uh, obviously, I'm not that motherfucker. I'm just right here in this little fucking blue dot right here. 
right here. Well, I'm technically like right here because I'm at the end of the house, the edge of the house. And I think this neighbor's a spy or something. Some weird activity going on over here and over here across the street. <laughs> Some weird shit going on around here. Anyway, see, I don't even have the money to, um, you know, to, to afford one of these fucking spots. You know? So, I mean, I have a lot of shit to talk about all these places, but, I mean, don't let my, my words get to any of you because they don't mean shit. They don't mean shit. See, look at this. Fit Republic. Gym, Reading. I would say in a gym that's open 24 hours, that would be good because now you're targeting everyone that's going into that gym 24 hours. You know? That's not saying that your massage business is going to stay open for that long, but it can be for someone that wants a fucking massage in the middle of the night. For whatever fucking reason. But yeah, other than that. Shit, that's that's like a that's like a um universal idea. You know, a global fucking idea. That's like that shit could be done anywhere. In the fucking world. Wherever there wherever there's fucking gyms and shit. Or not. Right? For you smart fucks out there that just wanna talk shit. Like I am. But I only have like six hundred bucks in my bank account. Shit, I can't even fucking travel. Anywhere, like, out of a hundred miles radius from this bitch location. Because I'm broke as a fucking joke. And all the rich people are probably saying, I wonder why. Because you take all the money, that's fucking why. And then you just put in your savings account and forget all about it. That shit's not circulating. You need to spend that shit a little bit more. You know, when someone is out there in the grocery store trying to sell those Girl Scout cookies, how about you throw them a few hundred instead of just buying one cookie or donating 20 bucks? How about a couple hundred thousand? I mean, you want to brag about all the fucking money you have anyway. But anyway... My little business card is only going to get saturated in this little area. And I mean, I'll, I'll be happy with like a customer a day pay me, you know, 20 bucks an hour for like four hours. That's a hundred bucks. That's $3,000. That's how much money I make in month, in month. If, if. If that. So I'm, I'm just a little fucking cockroach. Like Mr. Wonderful would say. In the Shark Tank episodes. That's all I fucking am. Probably worse than that. A fucking ant or some shit. A fucking little leech. Just trying to fucking take money. I'm hungry. Feed me. I don't know, but you motherfuckers out there that have money need to spend it. Because motherfuckers need some money to do some shit. Hello? 
You already have the house. You already have the car. You already have everything you fucking want. The fuck are you doing saving? Give other people a fucking shot. Give other people an opportunity. The fuck am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to sit here and kiss ass? I don't know what the fuck to do no more. But if you motherfuckers are located in Reading and you're one of my, if you, if you want to be one of my clients, then I could get very, very professional with your ass. You know, hi, how you doing? How may I serve you today? Whatever the fuck else people say to be professional. You want a glass of water? You want a soda? You want a bottle of water? Cold, warm, lukewarm. You want a free massage? Maybe you come back next time. You guys know the fucking number. Hit me up. I'm the fitness massager. And I'm not even fucking fit. So don't expect to come to my fucking shit or whatever the fuck. Expect me to see me like fucking The Rock or like Arnold. Because I'm not. I'm like a Malibu. Malibu. Malibu's most wanted. Malibu. I don't even know how to spell Malibu. Malibu's most wanted. Yeah, I'm like this guy. But an uglier version of him. Doing some gangster shit. Not giving a fuck type of shit. Like run up type of shit. That's going to be me right now. Or maybe in the future. Hopefully by Miley. Cyrus. If you don't know who the fuck she is, then that's good. You don't need to fucking know. That's my bitch. You know what I'm saying? Who's getting crazy? The fuck you gotta say, my nigga? Huh? That's what I thought. Motherfuckers wanna get all sentimental and shit with words that I say. Don't, don't try to do that. Don't do that shit. That's like, that's like Snoop Dogg or Eminem or Dr. Dre saying like, Fuck this nigga, referring to me, even though I'm not a nigga. This is my crew right here. Doing big shit. So all you bitches out there can back down. Back down. Anyways, that's so you big sharks get the fuck off my nuts. Let a motherfucker have some space. Thank you very much. <laughs>